Another person that contributed a lot to Erie uh, and who I just saw last week was Quanchat Gomez. I give her a lot of credit for the rigor and quality of research that came out of Erie in those days. Um, she helped us uh, design the rather sophisticated replicated yield trials that we use to evaluate the products of this, you know, of this enhanced systematic breeding program. And uh, that again was modeled after, uh, somewhat after Simit, but rice is a much, you know, a more challenging uh, crop to, uh, to test in yield trials. And she designed a very sensitive, uh, uh, what we call a quadruple lattice uh, uh, design that really did a good job of differentiating among genotypes. And then she helped us a lot with the management of the data for the International Rice Testing Program. Um, you know, designed the appropriate uh, analyses that allowed us to get results out in a hurry. I remember I had an arrangement with her. She had one of the first portable computers. It was a Wang system. Wang, the Americans would say, but you know, uh, it was a Wang system, uh, which you know was pretty big for a portable computer. You could, but at least you could roll it around the room, and uh, in the, in those days, and I really you know admired that machine. I remember that was in the early '70s or maybe mid '70s, and uh, so she she could turn out an analysis, you know, in in just a matter of minutes, which uh, you know. Uh, was you have to remember those were the days when you know we were just graduating from these mechanical uh, 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 you know uh, uh, Marchand and Monroe uh, adding machines basically they could also do the four functions but you know we'd done as a graduate student I'd done statistical analyses on those and you know an analysis of the variance could take all day running the sums of the squares and everything and so, Bing, you know, I was so impressed with that, and and you know, so people would send in their data, and then Bing, you know, we would send back the results, and uh, they were so impressed that that's what allowed that testing program to grow so rapidly and get so many enthusiastic uh, uh, cooperators. So I give her uh, a lot of a lot of credit. I would even say that you know the detection of IR thirty six, which was one of the most successful varieties of the era when I worked, uh, which was a team effort in the selection, but I think we would have never seen it in, in, if it hadn't been for the yield trials that she designed, because it was not an attractive variety. It was a very open habit early, and the birds would get on it fast, and you know, so it wasn't easy to just spot it with your eye.